I play Pokemon Omega Ruby, but every single Pokemon in the game was completely random. Additionally, I use hardcore Nuzlocke rules to make this challenge even harder. Let's see if I can beat this challenge or if the randomness is just too much for me to handle. I start my journey in Little Root Town, where I have to rescue the professor from a Pokemon the size of a Chihuahua. This leads to me getting to pick my very first Pokemon. The starters are all random, so let's see what I have to work with. What's it gonna be? Oh, oh my god! Wow, okay. They're all baby Pokemon, but like, they all grow into something amazing. Here's the thing. Togepi is a friendship evolution, which is annoying. Larvitar evolves very late and is relatively weak up until that point. Fire type Pokemon Larvitar. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. The water type Pokemon Simple. Yeah, they got that right. I want to take the Tyranitar, but honestly, I think I think we got to go with Togepi. Serene Grace is pretty good. You know what? I think all of these Pokemon are good, but I'm going to go with Togepi. Uh, I, I, that's my choice. Togepi. We are going with Togepi. And we only have Metronome. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, Light Screen. Well, that's useless. Oh, come on. Any attacking moves. Yes, we did it. We won. Not long after choosing my starter, I realized I might have made a mistake. Togepi only knew Metronome, which made him an absolute pain to train. Thankfully, I quickly got to catch another Pokemon to make life easier. Drum rolls, come on, something good, please. That's pretty damn good, if I can catch it. Okay, please get in the Pokeball, come on. Yes, we got a Toxic Rogue. We're gonna call you Draco. Oh, also, Harry's evolving, so that's pretty sick. Woo, we got a Togetic. Okay, we needed that because Togepi really wasn't wasn't doing it for us. In order to make it to the next gym, I had to rescue Mr. Briny's Wingle in a cave, which led to me finding my next encounter. Oh, what is it? Oh, okay, okay, I'll take a Hypno. Okay, Great Ball, come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, it shouldn't be that hard to catch a Pokemon, great. Yeah, we're gonna call you Snape. Let's see what Roxanne has to offer. It can be a team of gods, or she can have a team of trash. She will lead with a Bagon. Okay, we can handle a Bagon. Oh god, Dragon Pulse. Why does it have Dragon Pulse? Uh, okay, so Ron is dead. Like, almost definitely. Yeah, Ron's dead. Boom. Yes, we took down Bagon. What an annoying dragon. Walrein, what? So I'm, I'm dead. Ice Burn, oh my god. Literally a 140 base power move at the first gym. I'm, I'm dead. I'm I mean, yeah, D Dudley, yeah, nothing I can do against that. Oh my god, that does no damage. Ice burn, yeah, mud slap, come on. Critical hit, still does nothing. Oh, we avoid the attack. It's not hitting us. We used mud slap six times, so it's just not hitting. <gasps> another, oh my god, another critical hit. Okay, ice burn again, it's loading up. Come on, poison it, another crit, and we avoid the attack. Let's go, okay. Is this it? It hasn't hit us a single time. Sure, we lowered its accuracy like six times, but that's still pretty lucky, right? Let's go. Oh my god, that could have that could have swept my team. Awesome, okay, that was horrifying. Once I finally made it to Slateport, I found yet another cave, which meant I could find yet another Pokemon. Oh my god, wait, what? Okay, okay. Hello there, Drill Peck. Ouch. Now, okay, we're gonna throw a great ball. We're gonna throw a great ball. Probably not gonna catch. Oh my god, we got a Zapdos! That's actually insane. We got a Zapdos and we caught it on the first try. We're gonna call you. Yes, Hedwig. With that absolute powerhouse added to my team, I took on the next gem. All right, okay, what's he gonna have? Oh, okay, a Lily. Good. That's, yeah, that's not that bad. Great, okay. We take out Lily. Okay, Ariados. Okay, pretty bad. Oh, and that did a lot of damage. That did too. Phew. Good, that was an easy gym badge. Much easier than the, the last one. Once I earned two gym badges, I journeyed over to New Mauville where I met Wally again. If it's me and my routes, we can beat anyone! Having crushed my rival's hopes and dreams and not feeling an ounce of regret, I skipped over to Marvel City's gym and challenged Watson. Okay, let's see what he has. Oh my god, he has a Nido King. Okay, no no problem. That's fine. It's all good. Yeah, okay, the Nido King goes down. That was no problem. Curlia, okay. Okay, Thundershock again. Yes, okay. Curlia is dead. What? He has a Zapdos himself? He has a Zapdos of his own? Oh my god. Maybe maybe my Zapdos is stronger. Hey, we got a critical hit. Great. Did we win? Yeah, we did. Okay. Hey, we got the fourth gem badge. I mean, third gem badge. With the third gem badge earned, I got access to a whole lot of new routes, which of course meant I could add some new Pokemon to my team. Team? Oh, a Yamask. Okay. I'll, I'll take a Yamask. Why not? Hey, we got a Yamask. Great. I'll take it. We are gonna... Oh, you. Moody. Moody booty. My next stop was Loveridge Town, where I made an unsettling discovery. Hold on, hold on. Are there bodies in these? Oh my god. Oh my god. They're just chilling. They don't even care. But that's none of my business. Let's take on the fourth gem. 
Flannery is underrated. Everyone obsesses over Cynthia, but like, Flannery's respectable. Anyway, Swellow, Psybeam. How much is that gonna do? Oh my god, that did quite a lot actually. But this Psybeam's gonna take it out. Great. Gothitelle, okay. That's something. I'm gonna switch into my main man, my, my main girl, my, I don't know, Hedwig. So Thundershock. Oh, oh no, it has Leaf Storm. Wow, that, that did nothing. Okay, we're safe. Good, and we get the Paralysis too. There we go, we take out Gothitelle after way too many Thundershocks. Stoutland. Her last Pokemon is Stoutland. Now let's Volt Switch out of here and right into Draco. Now we could almost be in crit range, but I'm gonna stay in and use Rock Smash. No, it doesn't take it out. Oh, we live. Oh my god, I thought I lost Draco there. That was so close. Okay. Wait, what? But I was faster! Wait, is, is Smelling Salt's a priority move? Man, what? I guess we were speed side. We live. <laughs> Oh, that's unlucky. God damn it. We had Draco since since the very beginning. That loss hurts. Oh my god, and oh, it's critical hits. Oh, you can't do this to me. Oh my god, I'm going insane. Oh, okay. You defeated Leader Flannery, okay. Ah, uh, but at least we got the gem badge. The sacrifice was not in vain. We had finally earned four gem badges, meaning I could finally meet my dad. Okay, we're up against Norman, our dad, who clearly didn't go get milk like he said 10 years ago. <laughs> But, uh, instead became a gym leader. Unless challenge him, okay? You're challenged by gym leader Norman. And Sam, what the f- Oh my god, he has a Suicune. We have the perfect counter, though. We have a Zapdos. We're gonna use Thundershock. That did nothing. Ooh, we paralyzed. He has Volt Switch? Sinflora. Sure, that's- that's okay. We can use Drill Peck. Drill Peck again. Kill the Sinflora. Great, Sinflora goes down. Come on, Suicune. We should be able to finish it off now. Thundershock? Yeah, of course it does. And his last Pokemon, his ace, is an Aron. Wow. And we get the full paralysis. Let's go. Let's Volt Switch out of here, because I just realized he is a rock type, so he could hurt us. We're gonna send out Snape. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. Aron is like this. Yeah. Psybeam. There we go. What an easy gym. I just, I just destroyed my dad's entire mascul masculinity in one single battle. And having won the fifth gym badge, I made it further through the Hoenn region and encountered more random Pokemon. So let's go catch a Pokemon. Okay, Golduck. Eh, it's just a meh. I ran away by accident. I hate that bit, man. I hate that so much. Okay, well, we have another route here to try again because I suck. Okay, a Pillow Swine. That's pretty cool. I'll take a Pillow Swine. Let's just throw a Great Ball because why not? Yes, yes, yes. We got a Pillow Swine. Let's go. All right, we're going to name you Miney. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One sec, one sec. I just ran into this random trainer who has an Arcanine and a Palkia. Bruh! What the hell? Harry just died. Our starter. God damn it! I I knew I should have. I, I knew I should have picked Tyranitar. Well, I won, but at what cost? God damn it! Yeah, new route, new encounter. Oh my god, it's a f good encounter. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll take a freaking Genesect. All right, let's catch that thing. Oh, but how am I gonna catch it with a Great Ball? Uh oh. Yeah, not even not even close. Now let's throw a Great Ball. Come on. Oh no! Uh oh, please. I hate my life. I hate my life. I, I, I just, I, I hate everything, man. Ah! With nothing but pain and bitterness, I took on the next gym to cheer me up. Sixth gym, baby, let's go. We're challenged by gym leader Winona, and she, oh, she actually leads with a flying type Pokemon. What a coincidence. Okay. Wait, it has a life orb. What? Okay, we're gonna Volt Switch out of here. I've, I've seen enough. Right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna send out Snape again, and Snorunt. Okay, a weak Pokemon, finally. Great, okay, that's, yeah, that's a free kill. Sweet. We take out Snorunt. Starly, okay. Maybe, maybe this gym isn't gonna be that hard. She still has one more Pokemon, though. Starly just used Dragon's Ascent. What the fuck? Okay, Starly goes down. And Golbat, okay. That, that was an easy gym. Right, so I'm just gonna Volt Switch, and we win, right? Hey, we got the sixth gym badge. Let's go. Well, I missed it, but damn, Yamask evolved. So now we have a Cafagragus, finally. That's gonna be a good pivot. And Hermione's evolving too. Let's go. Oh, that looks, oh, I, I love Mamoswine. That's gonna be fun to use. Right, let's catch another Pokemon. Ooh, okay, a Straptor. I'll take a Straptor. With Intimidate too. I mean, of course, but yeah, definitely want that. All right, come on, one, two, three. Let's go, first ball. We got a Straptor, awesome. We're gonna call you Voldemort. Yes. 
Uh, let's go catch another Pokemon right away. Let's see what we can get over here. Let's see. Ah, well, that's underwhelming. I'll throw a Pokeball, but I don't think I'll use it. All right, get in the ball. Okay, it's gonna die. Yeah, it's dead. I don't really care. All right, let's see. Next route. Ooh, a Golurk. Guller I mean, the typing doesn't really offer anything new to the team, but I will take it. Okay, Ultra Ball. Nice, we caught a Golurk. Okay, that's gonna be Hagrid. Moss Deep City, yes. Another Pokemon. Maybe we can get a legendary here. <gasps> oh, okay. Rio Nicholas. I mean, it's better than Hypno, so I, I, I will probably replace Hypno with this, to be honest. Oh, it's got Recover. I really want that. Yes! We got, an, we got a Rio Nicholas. That's very good. Whew, okay. We can make a Trick Room team. You know what? This is gonna be Dobby. While we're on this catching spree, you know, might as well. Oh, there we go. New route. Okay, this will be the last one. Let's see what we can get. Oh, Poliwrath. Okay. I mean, hey, the typing could actually be useful. Yes! We got it. Okay. Why not call you? Neville. On our team, we now have a Mamoswine, we have a Zapdos, we have a Kefaragus, we have a Reuniclus, and a Poliwrath. I'll restrict my team to, to five Pokemon. Uh, probably, partly because I'm lazy and I don't want to get rid of uh, my HM Slave, and um, also partly because it'll make it a bit more challenging. Alright, let's take on the seventh gym. And I have made a pretty cool team for this, actually. Now let's take on, let's take on Liza and Tate. And they have a Swana and a Gorgeist. That's alright, we can take, you know, we can take them on. I am gonna set up Light screen and trick room sky attack uh oh oh it raised my special attack well thank you uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be because i now have a crazy high special attack stat i'm just gonna go all out and attack them oh i already snapped out of confusion that's probably gonna be a one shot oh no so close though. right so swana's dead great okay psychic okay well that that was easy that, that was it right huh hey we get the heart badge well there we have it we beat the uh seventh gym all right we've arrived at Sutopolis city and we're gonna catch another pokemon Oh my god, that's a Zekrom! That's sick! Okay, okay, I gotta catch this at all costs. Okay. Whew, that's awesome. Come on. Come on! I need this. I need this Pokemon. I, I really, really want this on my team. So, I'm gonna use a Master Ball. I, I, I'm not gonna pass up a Zekrom. Yeah, okay. 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 Whew! We got a freaking Zekrom, boys! Let's go! And I already know what to name you. Dumbledore. With yet another legendary Pokemon added to our team, I took on the next objective, which was to fight Team Magma Buzz Maxi. And this battle would be insane because the way this randomizer works is that if the trainer has a Mega Pokemon, that Pokemon will get replaced with another Mega Pokemon. So instead of a mediocre Mega Camera, he could, for example, have a Mega Mewtwo. All right, we're gonna switch in Neville. Oh my God, he has a Cabalion. Uh, anyway, we're gonna okay. Cabalion has a trash move set. Thankfully, he's a stockpile, so we're just gonna use Power Up Punch, Boost Star Attack. Uh-oh, he has Power Up Punch too. Uh-oh. He's gonna use Stockpile again. We're gonna use Brick Break though. How much is that gonna do? Oh yes, we kill Cabalion. Let's go. Burmy. I'm just gonna use Brick Break again. Boom. Kills. That's a free Pokemon to kill. Now, Lucario. Oh my god, he has a- his ace is a Lucario. That is actually pretty strong. He has a Mega Lucario! What? <gasps> oh my god, that did so much damage. But yes, we take it out. Oh my god, that was actually scary. No problem, though. We defeated him. He had a strong team, not gonna lie. Except for that Burby. But finally, the eighth and final gem. Let's do this. Okay, Wallace. Mantike. Oh, wow, he actually stays true to his uh, water type speciality. But uh, not a very strong one. That's dead. That is a dead Mantike. Dialga! What? Oh my god, okay. No, 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 no! Misclicked! I misclicked! I misclicked! Oh, I live! Okay, I'm alive. I'm still alive. Damn it! Okay, that was dumb. Ah, I'm gonna switch to Neville. Flash Cannon, okay, let's see how much it does. No, that did nothing. But our special defense fell. Okay, Flash Cannon, how much is it gonna do? Mm, scary, scary. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Flash Cannon, please don't crit. Oh my god, he did crit, but we are we are alive. We take down Dialga. Oh my my god, he actually got a crit. I I got scared there. Okay, gloom. Right. Okay. We got it. We got to switch out. There's no way. There is no way I'm staying in. Drill pack. How much does it do? Yes, it takes it out. Great. Okay. Gloom is dead. Azumarill. Okay. Perfect. We have Thunderbolts. Nice. Azumarill is dead. He's down to his last Pokemon now. And it's a Haxorus. Okay. We're not out of this yet. No crits. Ooh, scary. Uh oh, Ender. Okay. No problem. He's on one HP. I'm gonna Volt Switch. We did it, right? There we go. We got the eighth gym badge. And it is just the Pokemon League left. 
left. With all eight gem badges collected, I just had one final thing left to do, to beat the Elite Four and Champion. But on my way there, Knockoff Jacksepticeye wants another shot at beating us. He has a Salamence, okay? I'll take you serious. Except we have the perfect counter for Salamence. But yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. I just need to hit one. Yeah, there we go. Salamence is dead. Girder's next. Okay. Trick Room. Let's go. Girder goes down. Who's next? Groudon! He has a Groudon! Oh my god. Bruh. Alright. Energy Ball. Uh, okay. Special Defense File. I'll take it. Great. Groudon goes down. Okay. Ooh, uh, that was close. Alright, well, it wasn't close, but it could have been close. Dimensions are back to normal, and he sends out a Ralts. Ralts is dead. And lastly, what does he have? A Banette. Okay, I assume that it's gonna be a Mega Banette. I'm gonna send out Hedwig. Always a good, always a good choice. Yeah, okay, he has a Mega Banette. Right. Well, we have, uh, full switch. Uh, except we hit ourselves. How is the Banette faster? Oh my god. Great, okay. Yes, 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 we're out of here. I'm gonna send out Hermione. And let's use Earthquake. God damn it. Confuse Ray. Ugh. Oh, that's annoying. Come on, please. Really? Uh-oh. God damn it! What? Really? Critical hit Sacred Sword. This Banette is like the f***ing worst. Oh my god. Stupid confusion. Oh my god. And Grass of a Whistle. It's 55% accurate. Can't you just miss? Okay, buddy. Critical hit again, and I almost died. What the f***, dude? I'm out. How do you predict me like that, you stupid bitch. Great, yes. Kill it. Good god. We took it down. Mega Banette. What a joke. Nah, 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 I'm not cool with this, man. I'm not cool with this. That, that hurts. That, that was, that was a pain. There is not a lot that can piss me off, but bad RNG in Pokemon is certainly one of the things that can. I make some final preparations for the Elite Four when I happen to encounter something crazy. That's right, I found a shiny Marsh Tom completely out of the blue. And because I'm playing with shiny claws, I could catch it and add it to my team. And with that, it was time to take on the Elite Four. First up was Elite Force Sydney, the supposed Dark-type user, except he led with a Hariyama. I had made sure to train up my Zekrom though, so taking down Hariyama was no issue. Sydney sent out a Nidoqueen next, so I decided to switch into Harry the Marsh Tomp, who could easily deal with her. After a couple of pushover Pokemon, Sydney was down to his final Pokemon, which, unlucky for him, was a Manectric that Dumbledore the Zekrom easily took care of. Next up was Phoebe. She led with a Moltres that seemed very menacing, had it not been for the fact that I sent out Dumbledore, who took it down in one move. Phoebe sent out Golark next, but Marsh Tomp easily dealt with it. She then sends out Slowking, so I switch into Zapdos, who takes a surprising amount of damage to Psychic and Future Sight, leaving me on only 9 HP. That was close. I switch into Dumbledore and take down Slowking on the next turn. Her final Pokemon was just a measly Ekans, which Dumbledore easily killed. On to Elite Four number three. Glacial led with an unknown, which was a pretty weak Pokemon. I used this to my advantage and switched into Neville, the Polyrath, and started setting up with Bulk Up. From there, it was an easy sweep. I took down Unknown, Quilladin, Slowbro. Wait, no! Slowbro actually survived and hit us hard with a Psychic. Thankfully, Neville survives and is able to finish off the rest of Glacia's team, but that sure was an unwelcome surprise. The final opponent of the Elite Four was Drake. And I'm not talking about the guy who screams Geronimo when he jumps into a pool. He started out with a Muck, which I don't recommend reading backwards. Either way, I end up switching into Harry, who can take down Muck with an Earthquake. Drake sends out Tangrowth, so I switch into Hedwig the Zapdos to take it down. Drake actually lives up to his Dragon-type speciality and sends out a Zygarde. I decide to switch into Cathagrigus to try to poison with Toxic, but miss. Not once, but twice. Just my luck. I finally switch into Dumbledore, who then can take down Zygarde with a Dragon Claw. Drake is not done yet, however, as he sends out a Mesprit. But I still have a Reuniclus waiting in the back, who was a great counter to Mesprit, winning us the Elite Four. Now, finally, it was time for the champions. Steven starts out with a Heatmore that Dumbledore takes care of with ease. Next up, he sends out a very scary-looking Hydreigon, but thankfully, he too goes down in one hit. Steven's team is absolutely stacked, though, as he sends out a Feraligator next. Next, but thanks to Zekrom's type advantage, I easily deal with him too. Steven then sends out a few babies that really aren't a problem at all. I end up switching into Harry just because I didn't want Zekrom to single-handedly beat Steven, and so finally Steven was down to his last Pokemon, his mega Pokemon, which was a Houndoom. As you can imagine, with Harry having the type advantage, we could easily finish off the battle and thus become the champion of Hoenn. And with that, we beat the Nuzlocke. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, it helps me out a ton. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.